Okay, welcome back to week two of Shutters Without Borders tutorials. Uh, this week we are going to cover how to create a layer mask using Photoshop. So um, layer masks are pretty cool. Basically you can use them for a whole bunch of different things. You can get really creative with them. Um, today I'm going to show you um, basically what you can, you can sort of start to experiment with um, using black and white uh, photography and kind of pushing through those. So we have our, our, our photo here loaded into Photoshop and we're going to go to full screen mode. Uh, once again we're going to start off and we're going to command J um, that's duplicating our background layer so that we have so that we have a, a safe layer to work with. Um, now basically uh, what I kind of want to do for this project is I really want to focus on the color. Let's say, for example, this yellow color in top of in the top of this um, this book here in the Beck du Dagon Trail area. So um, I'm going to make everything else black and white except for this small square on top. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go down to create um, a new fill or adjustment layer. Click on that and go up to black and white. Basically, it turns it into a black and white image. You can click, this is a really great, on Photoshop CS4, you can click on this little slider here, and um, then you can go through the the, um, the, uh, the low tones, the mid tones, and the high tones. So like you can go into the blacks, the dark blacks, click on this one, and you can scrub left and right, and it gives you really great, um, really great sort of uh, definition. Go into a light gray, Shift left and right, it's too much. Come back up, you can really move in. And go to a, a white area, find something nice. That looks pretty nice, okay. Back to layers. <clears throat> now you can see we have our black and white adjustment layer, but we also have this little square here. Um, this square is a layer mask. Now, if you want to ever make a layer mask and you can't find one so if we if we get rid of that if we just have a black and white layer the easiest way to create a layer mask is to go up to layer scroll down to layer mask and click reveal all and there you see we have a layer mask that has that again been created now it's very important when you create a layer mask and you do masking that you look over to this side and you see that your color palette here is black and white. Um, you can ensure that it's black and white just by scrolling down to the corner, clicking OK, click on this one, make sure it's totally white, and that's all you need. Um, basically, when you have selected this kind of layer mask, the reveal all, you have it's like you've placed a uh, a clear piece uh, a piece of plastic over top of your um, over top of your adjustment layer that you've made and when you take your brush so you press the keyboard shortcut B for brush when you take your brush you can um, set the opacity to 100% to start set it on black and watch what happens you punch through you're punching through that black and white layer and if you look over here you can see my mask start to be created so I can make a happy face I can make anything, it doesn't really make sense, but you can see that this mask is being made. Um, and you see that I'm punching through. Now this is where masks get really intuitive, is that you have the black, which means you're punching through, but then you also have the white, which means you can restore that mask. The best way to do it, keyboard shortcut X, and that changes it to white. White basically means additive. You go to your open square bracket, make your brush nice and big, opacity to 100%, and you are restoring that. And then once again, your mask has gone back to beautiful, clean, uh, clean look. So press X once again, get the black on the on the top, so we can go through. And what we're going to do is go through, turn the brush hardness up a little bit, and we can. I'm just going to do this quickly. Um, if you want to get really specific, uh, you can zoom in by pressing Command Apple Plus, um, and you can zoom right in, scroll up, and you can get really nice in and close, and start painting 
your corners in. And you can see here, if I make a mistake and I go too high, oops, that's not good, press X, come back up over top, and paint it away. Paint it away, paint it away. Um, you can get in really nice and close with some small brushes. Oops, that's the wrong way to go. Some small brushes, paint it up. Um, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to kind of do um, big strokes just to give you the, the thrust of what I'm doing here. Um, you can come in, you can spend all day uh, working on it um, to make it nice and pretty. Um, but what I'm doing is just to give a demonstration. So once again, I have pressed the keyboard shortcut X to sort of get rid of my excess that's hanging out on the top. And a little bit extra in here. Okay, it's not perfect, um, but this is the gist. So if you have a black and white image that you like to have and you want a little bit of pop to it, you can use a layer mask to do that, um, to give it a little bit of color and a little bit of focus. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, absolutely feel free to email me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Check out Shutters Without Borders photo blog every